all right guys welcome man welcome back to the channel man looking for uh sit right here guys dodge challenger hey it's a nice one too 2013 model i want to say whoa y'all see that man it's the first thing that caught my eye look at that oh look at that groove in that rotor guys that rotor is the glaze and it look like the brake pads wore. So, yeah, so we'll be inspecting the brakes. Look at the lug nuts, guys. They're going to need a special. I hope he got this in his glove box. It's a SRT, of course. Uh, the big boy Hemi in it. Now, what they're complaining about is uh, check engine light out. Oh, y'all see that? See it go back up? This is the, uh, you pull the handle the glass go down just to clear the weather strip because you don't want to leave it in there or you could break it when you close it the glass go up on its own neat little feature uh that works great guys if it wasn't there in the event you don't have any power supply in your car your battery dead uh you likely will have to bend or finagle that a little bit to clear it all right like i say this is a 2013 i want to say now, 2013 and 2014, God, I keep getting the years mixed up, but this car could go either way as far as transmission. The complaint is transmission, uh, checking the light on and the ABS light on. Okay, so, but he said, it shifts funny. The thing about this particular car and this particular transmission, if equipped, okay, um, NAG, NAG1 transmission is what I'm talking about, guys. You got to keep in mind with the NAG1 transmission, a couple of things you need to keep in mind if you happen to own one. And that is basically uh, there is no speed sensor on the transmission per se. This TCM, again, I'm speculating that this car is equipped with a NAG. The TCM is located under the steering wheel and it gets its speed signal from the ABS wheel speed sensors. OK, so if you have a car that's equipped with a NAG, and you have ABS problems and transmission shifting problems, those two go hand in hand. Those two are related. So that's when you can start looking at things like ABS. So also, um, the tires need to be the same size, guys, all the way around, all four tires. <laughs> you can't have two big tires in the rear and two small in the front, or that will give you problems with the transmission. Uh, the NAG is very sensitive as far as, again, because it's looking at wheel speed sensors, on from coming from the abs so with that being known you know the abs and the tcm doing a lot of communication this tcm is not equipped it's not a part of the pcm it has its own module all right okay now in fact guys the suspense is killing me guys we're gonna go outside and uh i want to see the way i can tell if this is an ag or a speed it's simple if this one got a dipstick too guys it's a nag transmission the eight speed transmission have no dipstick tube or a dipstick now the nag don't have a dipstick but they will they was giving you tubes yep y'all see that this indicates this is a dipstick tube and that indicates that this is a nag transmission guys probably can see down there but so we got a relationship thing thing going on between the abs and the tcm okay if the abs light on and it's shifting funny all right guys stay with me let's get with it all uh, right back now the dilemma becomes should i test drive it okay because it's nothing mechanical sounding like it doesn't sound like i'll be stranded i just have a few electrical oh y'all hear that sounds good all right this can't be flowing other people's car so uh, should I test drive it guys? Uh, I really want to scan it first because like I say The ABS and the TCM go hand in hand. I guess I will uh, we'll go around the block verify the shifting complaint. The complaint is Transmission not shifting right. I mean see how vague that is. I mean so it's up to the mechanic to pull out of the car what the complaint is after you have exhausted all possibility of pulling it out of the customer Sometime I find myself on the phone, myself, talking personally with the customer. What kind of problems are you having, ma'am? What is it doing? And what gear, can you recall what gear um, the, sh the shift problems happen in? Okay, I need to get as much information out of the customer as possible. If I'm unable to get it out of 
just say a repair order or verbal coming from just say a, a, a writer all right but that is very important knowing the complaint is very important and like i say i tend to believe this is more of an electrical issue than trans but we'll see we'll see i'm about to go on the test drive guys cannot drive and film at the same time y'all know that that is borderline illegal even if it's not illegal it's just not a smart thing to do all right so i'm gonna throw this seat belt on this thing got some power okay y'all know i'm one of those guys that do not mind test driving i like to get away look at that nice one right there guys i like to get away every now and then all right i have no problem going on a four mile test drive from time to time clear my mind and in some cases you can stop by a gas station and pick up a pack of now latest <laughs> some candy if you eat candy all right don't judge me y'all don't know me like that y'all know jt the mechanic y'all don't know jt this the candy eating jt all right and we're gonna keep it that way Yes, from time to time, I grab some candy. Now, I want to get off subject because some guys will still criticize you. Y'all know I like to inject humor into some of my videos. And some guys, man, stay on point. Stay, stick to the subject. Don't nobody want to hear about your freaking candy loving. Okay, so I won't do that. Disregard everything I just said the last past 30 seconds. In fact, I can just delete it when I get ready to edit it. All right, guys. <laughs> like I said, I like to have fun, man. If you ain't having fun while you're doing what it is you like to do, uh, life can be miserable a little bit, okay? And I'm not that type. All right, the light is green, guys. I don't want to be on the phone, so I'll catch y'all and when I get out this test drive. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm in the shop. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to hook my scan tool up, verify the fault codes. Uh, like I say, none of the lights are actually on the dash, but these computers have uh, memory random access memory built into them so it will store the code and i will proceed to check the fluid and uh we're gonna go from there guys stay with me All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I'm back at the computer. Now, what you can see, uh, well, maybe you can't, but this happens to be a 2013 model, guys. All right. Now, uh, let's go. Let's look on the all DTC. Wow, a lot of fault codes and the radiator, things like that. That's unimportant. Okay, now let's come out of here. Go back in the topology and go straight for the TCM. See guys, the PCM and the TCM is separate, all right? TCM has its own module when this is a NAG transmission. So let's click that and take a look at DTCs. And what you will see is, yes, just as I figured, uh, implausible right rear wheel speed signal received. Okay, now it gets that data from the ABS module. And also 0730 gear ratio area. Now the transmission fluid wasn't low. Y'all saw me inspect the fluid. But however, it was brown and did have a burn smell to it. So uh, this is one of those things where you can recommend a flush, I mean a trans service, because you gotta get that filter out of there. But uh, yes guys, we have a problem with the ABS. There's no internal fault codes. Well, a error, gear ratio error code is internal. But it can be misleading if you have ABS codes. Now let's come out of here and go straight to ABS. Wow, as you can see from the ABS module, I'm getting improper or just totally erratic signals from the right rear wheel speed sensor. Notice all three fault codes are right rear. So something in that right rear, rear wheel area is giving uh, that speed sensor problems. Or it could very well be the speed sensor uh, the ABS speed sensor itself okay at any rate guys this will affect transmission keep please keep that in mind right along with uh, incorrect tire size all of that could expect uh, could uh, 
all of that could affect the transmission shifting operation. So I just need you to keep that in mind if you have a NAG1 transmission. The only other option in these uh, challengers uh, on the newer models are the eight speed rear wheel drive. They have a whole different way of monitoring uh, speed sensor, but we're gonna stay focused on this. So guys, what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna let the car take a hardcore look, visual look at this rear wheel area. Make sure there's no obstruction. Make sure uh, a rock or something or a cut or anything. Just look around. It's nothing like visual inspection. So I will be looking at that. And if all else fails, uh, I will be giving an estimate on the right wheel speed sensor right along with the transmission service and a flush right along with <laughs> those brakes. Y'all saw the rotors on those brakes, okay? We are obligated to inform the customer of what's needed. They, on the other hand, have the option to approve it or not improve it. Prove it. We are not here to force anybody to pay anything or fix anything they don't want to fix. Okay? It's a free country. I love this country. USA. USA. All right, guys. Uh, what I'm going to have to do, guys, is go ahead and cancel this video out. Okay? Now, I always tend to do that because I don't know if they're going to buy it or not. I may, I'm going to write up my estimate, give it to the writer. He's going to try to sell it. If he get a... A good bite or he get lucky sometimes he'll sell it sometimes he won't sometimes the customer just do not have the money guys I understand that I understand it and I feel that it happens okay but at any rate I don't want to leave the video open so what I'm gonna do is close it down also I'm gonna pull a spark plug out make sure you know see if we need a tune up I'm gonna look it over as you can see there's no cooling in that jug I will be looking around for any signs of cooling leak so always look every car you have over because remember you're the last one to touch it so you're going to be blamed for something at least be blamed for something you saw yourself or you saw first again don't be scared to write up estimates on stuff because you're covering your butt leave it to the customer to deny or decline yes you may get those customers that say every time i come to the shop man y'all write up i need a thousand dollars worth of work sir we're letting you know what you need it's up to you to purchase it or not all right so let me get to work writing this estimate up and uh all right guys i have the car in the air like i said i got the cover off and uh i remember uh, we're supposed to be checking the rear wheel right rear wheel speed sensor now right rear <laughs> uh, that's likely right here so uh not so much you can't really see if a sensor bad but what i wanted to see was was it compromised any damage in it okay i know it's uh stabbed inside the knuckle monitoring the rotation of in this case it looks like the axle oh i just seen a drip what in the world was that whoa whoa oh what is this okay this shock leaking guys okay it's oil coming out of the shop these don't look like OEM. Let me look on this side. Yeah, these might not be OEM, guys. That's why I say, guys, you the last one works on this car. Visual inspection goes a long way. You don't want to be blamed for nothing. I will have to write up these shocks. Um, it says a diff on it, real diff. I will write up, a, recommend a diff service. But uh, for the most part, as far as they problem, the reason they came in, yes, this doesn't look compromised. So I suspect it's just uh, internally open not sending the wheel rotation of the right rear wheel that's why those fault codes was generated okay so uh yeah don't don't uh in your inspection back there just <laughs> if you inspect the rear shocks might as well inspect the front shocks all right they don't look like they leaking but they do look like they have been replaced i don't know what brand that is i don't really care now as far as the transmission yes Nag one guys, uh it don't look like that pan ever been off. I mean, you can't tell by looking at it, but uh because it's not sealed by RTV, it's actually a gasket on this one. But I will be recommending a transmission service. Alright. Now as far as that cooling jug leak, guys, look at this. You can see pink all over this hose. Y'all know what that's coming from. First of all, you should look right under the radiator, because that's normally the first giveaway. But I don't see any, what gave it away is I see like orange right here. Yes, I have a cooling leak. Remember up top when I was uh, talking or speaking, I mentioned the fact that the reservoir bottle was empty. There's likely a reason behind that. And I can see why. This is all cooling, guys. See this pink, this hose is pink. 
And the only thing in the front of this Hemi engine, yes, right there, is the water pump, guys. <laughs> so, yes, I will be writing up a water pump. Uh, now, I'm not out to, like, break the customer. I'm merely letting them know everything I find on my inspection, along with the reason why they came in. We have a section on our estimates where we stuff we recommend and stuff that will actually fix the problem you came in for. All right. So I wouldn't just merely letting them know they have a cooling leak and it is coming from the water pump. Here's an estimate on how much it would cost to fix that uh, right along with the real shocks and uh, the trans service. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the brakes. OK. Uh, OK. I, I need my tire gauge to tell the depth of the tire. I want to guess at tires and I don't want to write it up if they don't need it because with tires come alignment. I will recommend alignment if I write up tires. But we're going to write this estimate up, guys. Like I say, stay tuned for the rest of the video. If they buy it, I'll open it back up and we'll have a part two. If not, that is the end. Just so you know, we just merely, we had a problem with this Dodge Challenger, but we went through with some inspections. So you can see what you may be up against if you happen to own a Challenger, a Charger, 300, anything like that that utilize this setup. Or any car for that matter. Just take what I'm saying and apply it to any car, not just this Chrysler Dodge or Jeep brand or anything like that most of my videos are based on the general car it just so happened the car that I'm working on or speaking about happens to be a Dodge Jeep or Chrysler but the theory applied to any car all right guys so uh let me write up the assessment guy y'all uh stay with me uh thanks for watching comment subscribe I'll see y'all in the next video <laughs>